welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be a video all about lipsticks, in particular the Wet n Wild Matte Lipsticks. And I have built up a little miniature collection of six of the shades. I believe there's about ten, maybe, all together. So there's still a couple more that I have to get, but these are the ones that appeal to me the most, so these are the ones I picked up straight away, of course. So I'm just going to talk about the pros and cons of these lipsticks and try and do a thorough review. It's my first review of a product on my channel so I'm going to try and do it properly and if you stay tuned until the end I will do a little video reel of swatches of these on the lips because I find that's much more helpful than swatching it on your hand. I mean swatching it on your hand is fine for a haul or something like that but if you want to see what the lipstick actually looks like on the lips then I think this is the way to go. So. Usually I like to start off with the bad news rather than the good news, so I'm going to start off with the cons of these lipsticks, so the things that I think are not so great about these lipsticks. And uh, number one will be the packaging. Only then when I get them home and I've used them a few times, this kind of thing begins to happen. And this is when the product gets inside the clear tube at the top, which just looks really messy and it's unavoidable, let me tell you. I always wind them down right to the bottom of where they're supposed to be before I put the lid back on and they still seem to go like that. Like there's another one. So that really bothers me about these lipsticks. Apart from that, I do like the, you know when a lipstick has this style of, what's the word? Just the way it looks. I don't know how to explain it. Rather than a more rounded top, I like the shape in a lipstick. Like those MAC retro matte ones, is that what they're called? But I like that. I do like that part about them. But Overall, I do not like the packaging. Another thing I don't like about the packaging is the fact that the barcode is right there and then details about the ingredients or whatever, the website and stuff is right there. I just think that looks kind of cheap and tacky. If these were all black and the lid was black as well, I would really like that. Maybe the top could be clear because I do like how you can see what color they are before you even need to look on the bottom. But yeah, overall not a big fan of the packaging. Okay, so that is literally it for the bad things I have to say about these lipsticks. And let's get on to the things that I do like about them because that's always the part I'm most interested in. So firstly, I must talk about the formula of these lipsticks. I think the formula of these lipsticks is amazing. First of all, it's nice to find such a cheap matte lipstick. It's hard to find these in the drugstore full stop and let alone a brand that is really inexpensive and then the formula turns out to be fantastic. It's just a total and complete bonus. So the formulation, these go on really creamy on my lips anyway. I try to keep my lips quite moisturized and I always put on a lip balm a few minutes before applying this. Sometimes then I even blot the lip balm off so that I can really get the true matte effect. But these go on really creamy. They do not dry up my lips at all, which is very unusual for a matte lipstick so I'm really impressed with that. The second really great thing about these is the staying power. I find that these last all day on my lips like especially the bright ones which is unusual like for instance one of my favorites is Coraline. I use this in my get ready with me video which I will link down below if you want to watch just so you can see this baby in action but this lasted all night on my lips. It was just as bright as it was just as bright by the end of the night as when I applied it at the beginning of the night. Of course something to note is the pigmentation of these lipsticks. You see is what you get. They come out just as bright as they look in the tubes if not brighter. It's just a really opaque colour from the first application. Of course one of the best features about these lipsticks is the price. It's unbelievably cheap to get your hands on one of these lipsticks. In Ireland at the moment these are $2.99 which is insane like you won't find any other lipsticks for that price for this good quality in the drugstore at the moment at least I haven't found any yet and then lastly one of the great things about these lipsticks also is the shade range they have so many shades they range from really really nude like there's a total skin color nude color skin color nude color that was there but I didn't get that because it's not really my type of lipstick I would never really wear that but they then they have pink more plummy colors more brownie nudes Corals, reds, different, I think they even have two different kinds of reds with different undertones. I think that's incredible.
this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like it if you enjoyed it and let me know in the comments below if you've tried out these lipsticks and if you did, what's your favourite shade because I just want to get them all now and I'm sure there's one or two that I've missed that I haven't seen yet and that aren't available in my chemist or whatever. So yeah, comment below and we can interact and leave any video suggestions down below because I want to know what you guys want to see from me. So that's all for today. I'll see you soon for my next one. Bye!